Hello YouTube, this is the DTA Show, Pokemon Silver X Pair Part 17. Last episode, we navigated Route 34 and talked about the Nintendo 2DS. This episode, we're going to navigate Goldenrod. Time to explore, guys! Yeah, I've already been to the Pokemon Center and healed up, so uh, let's exploring time. Well, first things first, I'm going to go to the bicycle shop, bicycle shop that I'm sick and tired of moving this slow. I believe... The bicycle, the bicycle shop being hidden in a corner somewhere, unless there's somewhere some, here. some poor sort of house. on to our, um, uh, just... Oh, apparently my bead was cute. Uh -huh. This person has a bug fetish, apparently. Fair enough. Anyway, on to our next topic. Nintendo's released two Nintendo Rets since we've been away. Uh, the first Nintendo Direct was on, um, sports games. Get ready for the stupidest idea in history. Nintendo is re-releasing Wii Sports in HD at a price of £50. So, not only is it a remake of a game that came free with with every copy of uh, a Wii, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's also, like, slightly better graphics, maybe a few more features, and it's a full 50 quid, which... Uh, which you can actually um, download the sports individually for 10 or each on the eShop. Eventually, when it comes out, and you can also download the game for like um, for like a day for two pounds. But the whole fifty quid price thing? Are you nuts? The average game doesn't cost fifty quid. I know. Exactly. That's, that's my thing here. Right. Anyway, bicycle. Uh, well, any of any of you guys? Yeah, you talk to this guy. He gets you a bicycle for free. So, yeah. Basically, basically, businesses going shite, so here, have a bicycle, ride it and fucking advertise me, bitch. So... Hey, I'm going to put this to my select button. So now I can use it by pressing, pressing Y or X. I think. Dun, 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 dun. There's one thing I remember best about this game. This this little bit of music here. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, Aww. Anyway, time to go shopping. Oh, Pokemon okay. Mart. Anyway, Adam, keep going about the um, the um, Wii yeah. Sports. Yeah, for those for those of you who uh, aren't English and don't understand uh, uh, British currency, oh, basically the average AAA title game. Physical copy will net will cost you roughly about thirty-five to forty pound, given uh, depending on how new it is. You know, second-hand second-hand games usually go for about twenty pound, and really, really old games you can get for about maybe five pound to a tenner, depending on how well it's sold originally. Yeah, that's so, about right. So, then. so fifty pounds for a collection of mini games—that is a lot. To put it in perspective, remember really back in the day, Action 52, that 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 game, well, I call it a game, that collection of shite, uh, uh, sold sold for about almost three hundred dollars. That imagine that about half. So that's pretty much what we're looking at here. At least in this um, shopping center, you can buy these items. These yeah, um, Pokemon vitamins, you, these radio stats permanently, but they're really expensive. If you want to buy them, nine thousand eight hundred each. Yeah, uh, I'm just searching the uh, shopping center to see if there's anything decent in here. Keep up, talk, Adam. That's about it. That's about it, really. Uh, um, my but... views on the um, whole Wii Sports thing. Nintendo, are you high? This is the dumbest idea of the century. What? I can buy Wii Sports for less than a tenner from Computer Exchange. Yeah. And I do not give a shit about HD. My sister recently, um, we were talking about Christmas presents and stuff, I've actually bought her Winwick HD for her Christmas present. I ruined the surprise for her. I, I, <laughs> no, she already knows about it, she picked it. Oh, right. I, oh, it's one of those arrangements, got gotcha. you. I don't want the game because they've ruined the Tingle Tuna. But, um. They've I'm, ruined Tingle. They, they've ruined the Tingle Tuna, it's an item in the game, I'll explain later. But, um, You can't ruin Tingle, you can. Surely the other, any change would make the fucker better. Um, Adam, can you um, research the department store in Golden Rose City? I want to know what, t what these TMs are. Does it tell you? Um, it gives me a brief description of what they are, but it doesn't actually tell me, tell me. But, yeah, they've ruined the tingle to in the Wind Waker HD remake. 
In the original game, you could you, you could phone Tingle to drop bombs on enemies and um, areas so that you could um, unlock certain areas er earlier. This was a really good idea, good idea because you can get certain items early. Mm -hmm. And I really like this feature. And you can't in the Wii U version, Tingle's tuner has been um, basically downgraded. Now you used to put messages in a bottle to send to people on Miiverse. Okay, so the Goldenrod department store on the second floor will give you a Pokeball, Grey Ball, Full Heal, Revive, Antidote, Burn, Heal, Paralyze, Heal, Potion, Escape Rope, Pokey Doll, Antidote, Ice Heal, Awakening, Super Potion, Repel, and Flower Nail. Yeah, fifth, fifth floor. Oh, I'll, I'll just go through them. The third floor you can... It's, it's all Generation 2, by the way. Uh, yeah. Third floor you can buy X, X Attack, X Defend, X Special, Guard Spec, X Speed, Accuracy, and Dire Hit. All these items are worthless. Do not bother buying them. They only work whilst, it's your, whilst your Pokemon's in battle. Once they've faced battle, the stats will return to normal. Do not bother. Okay, fourth floor you can buy a HP up, Protein, Calcium, Iron, and Carbos. All, all of them 9,800 each. Uh, um, fifth fifth floor I've got some guy here uh, some guy wants to train a mat a mat shop for a drowsy um, the uh, mat shop for a drowsy chair this is actually a really good trade you've got a gym battle with Whitney which is a normal type gym leader um, this will give you an extremely uh, big advantage as Whitney if you want to do this go ahead we're not doing it because I'm not here for a mat shop but if you want to get this mat shop Go ahead, it'll give you a very big advantage over the gym leader. But we've got Onyx, so we don't need to worry. And the TMs, we've got TM 41, 48, 33, 2 and 8, which are Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, Ice Punch, Headbutt and Rock Smash in that order. Which one's Ice Punch? I mean, I which, which one's... Ice Punch is 33. Right, well, we'll come back to this. one down. We're definitely coming back to this place later, because there's no ice beam in this game. So if we can, if we can punch someone and freeze them, that'll be very useful. We'll come back here soon. Hmm, okay. Um, what to talk about, then? Uh, I don't know, I was going through this. Um, sixth floor, you can buy fresh water, soda pop, and lemonade. Um, we won't need to use yet. There is a basement floor, but you can't really use that yet. Well, unless it's... Let me just check on that. I'll have to have a look at that. Now, I can't remember what's in the basement of this place. I, I remember there being not much down there. Yeah, excuse my knowledge on the older version of this game, YouTube. The, um, the basement is only accessible from the department store by the elevator. A team of workers and a mat truck are moving boxes around. People get told off by the worker for going down and distracting them. It's one of the end points of, go of the Golden Rod Tunnel. So when we go through there, we'll probably end up at this point. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah the, the last version of this game I played was Pokemon Soul, so which is a Gen 4 game, so there were several differences. So if my knowledge is a little bit sketchy on the um, older version, it's because I haven't played this version in years. It was uh, Soul Silver last time I went game here, wasn't it? Yes. That was a good game. Uh, can I have that? I know I need to do some more um, Pokemon, uh, I mean Nintendo Direct stuff. Nintendo Direct crap, there you go. Well, now we've finished talking about the um, whole Wii Sports thing, we can get onto some good stuff. Uh, in the next Nintendo Direct, uh, Mr. Iwata talked about um, Super Mario 3D World. We've got a brand new trailer of the game, and th the game itself will be re released in. Check this calendar. Um, November 29th in the UK. Do not ask me for American release dates. I do not. I don't know, and I'm not too. Game worried. FAQs is your friend on that development. Um. So yeah. But the um, this is the game corner. Adam, quickly. Adam, quickly, come the screen. We can't teach kids how to gamble. No, we can't. We can't have you gambling. <laughs> Bloody hell, mate. <laughs> well, you. Yeah. Fuck's yeah. sake. Uh, Get I'm, really? I'm making this joke here on purpose because Nintendo, when they remade Pokemon Soul Silver, they removed the um, gambling game because a couple, a couple of, of right, a couple of American kids uh, blamed it for their gambling addiction. And, and I have to see a psychiatrist, not a lawyer. Uh, the, Fuck's the, um, sake! 
And the problem with that idea was to earn coins getting this little mini game called Volto Flip. And you start off with no coins. But the problem I had with that was in the game corner you could buy coins. With Volto Flip, you had to start from zero coins and work your way up. In this one you could just buy a bunch of coins, exchange for the Pokemon or the rewards that you wanted, and then leave without using the gambling machines once. So, uh, yeah. I, I don't know, what, couldn't you sort of examine the examine the gambling machines even though you couldn't use them? Or, no, so, it's that's so, it's so simple. One of the later ones, you can examine them and pick up the coins that people have left behind. Uh, yes, you can. And but, that was the only way to get coins if you didn't want to buy them. I think, what? Yeah. Um, but, yeah, the whole big scandal with um, Nintendo... So instead of teaching gambling, you're teaching them theft. Well done. No, actually, if you go inside the game corner in Pokemon Soul, so it's not in the game corner anymore. There's a little room. You go inside, talk to this man, he says, do you want to play a Volto flip? And you just play it. The game corner inside has been completely moved from the game in the English version. Japan still has it. We don't. Just because of these stupid kids saying, oh, it caused our gambling problem. How many times do I have to tell you people, games do not cause people problems. People just say this to... Yeah, it's, to it, ruin things for us gamers. It's, it's, it's an ongoing thing. People have been banging on about uh, so media for God knows how long. It, start, it started off with... What, what was it? Comic comic books? They were a bad influence on the kids. That's the reason we have all got rebels with me to ban comic books and shit like that. I'm pretty sure it, it was going on with something before that. And then, then it was, what was it? Heavy metal music or rock, rock music? Now, now it's violent video games. Oh my God, he... He he went he went on a massacre with a machine gun. It must be the computer games. Ever thought it might be the fucker who sold him the pig in machine gun? Yeah. So I've, I've been I've been playing games for since I was like six. I've, I have I've been playing these things since. I have never gone out and smashed someone's face in. I don't I don't go around uh, uh, buying guns and shit. For fuck's sake. Uh, this is a little mini dungeon in Golden Save. This is a little in the past. You can get out here for some training. I wonder what insignificant thing it's going to be next. I mean, uh, I mean, first, first it was comic books. Or possibly something before that. If it was something before that, I don't know. We'll do it today. I'm going to try and find an abra on the route. Yeah, and and then and then it was then it was like Elvis Presley. Oh my God, the the hip movements. It's it's driving the kids wild. They're going to kill people. And then it was he- then it was like heavy metal music. And it's action films. And it's video games. And what was going to be next? Uh, so what what is the next thing that we are going to com- we are going to blame our kids on? So, I, I'm not sure, but it's really. Oh my God, Apple. The invent. <laughs> It's it's all these phones! My god, the phones! <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, Adam, make a note. Liz wants to battle us again on... On, on um... Are we waiting for you around on Route 32? On Route 32, make a note of that. Yavol. Okay, Liz wants to battle. Route 32. Because if you call them back, they won't tell that they want to battle you in this version. In the, in the remake, they did that. Liz Battle Route 32, and fair enough, there you go. Um, so, that's the whole story about the game corner. In the new version, you want to use it, in this version, you can. Um, the game corner, basically, you can play a mini game with slot machines, and um, you can also get prizes there, which can be Pokemon, TMs, or hold items, that's it, really. Uh, Adam, could you pause the camera whilst we try and find a, find a Abra? Okay. Found one. Several years later. That was about five minutes. The encounter rate for these things is extremely low, YouTube, so if you find one, consider yourself blessed. Yes, it's a, um... Right. It's catching a fast Pokemon. A fastball could be useful here. I thought you were going to play to sleep first. Let's see if I've actually learned any sleep moves yet. Oh shit, I haven't. <laughs> oh dear. Right. I only have one of these. Go fastball. Go on. Fingers crossed and go. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Bollocks. Fuck you! 
See you later, fuckers. See you later, shitlords. I know. Almost. Pause camera. <laughs> In fact, we're actually on 15 minutes, so we'll leave it there. And then we'll catch one off camera. Well, ah, yeah, why not? So, yeah, we'll get back to you as and when we actually find one of these fucking things and manage to catch it. So, take care of yourselves, guys. Yeah.